Week 2 in the Villa and despite a slow start in the first week, it does feel like things are really starting to pick up, with more controversy brewing every day. However, there's something this season that has really been grinding my gears. Something is missing from the series. I never watched my series of Love Island but I do feel like something is missing from this season and I can't put my finger on it. The way people described watching our season made it sound so addictive and differently entertaining, but I can't lie, I found myself a tad bored watching some of these episodes. And think it's just too slow paced and quite repetitive. It baffles me that they keep using the same format for challenges, dates, dumping and new entries as the previous years. And makes it too predictable. You'd think they'd be able to come up with some fresh ideas. It just makes it seem like we all know what is going to happen next, and takes the excitement out of it all. I think they run the risk of losing the ons unless they spice it up. It also for me lacks personality diversity. I'm rarely sitting there laughing my head off or massively shocked, or jumping out of my seat by anything anyone is doing. It just seems like there's nobody standing out to really make the series an exceptional watch. And it's starting to bother me. Aren't we all rooting for Dr. Alex? So after a few days of it being the Isle Booker show and a pretty anticlimactic recoupling, the bomb was dropped that the Islanders would have to decide between themselves who they believe to be the least compatible couple. Again, sticking to the same format as my year, I had a good insight into what the Islanders' thought process might be. Despite who you like and don't like, you can't claim that two people who are just friends are more compatible than two people are romantically involved, enter drive. I think the producers saw this coming too, which is why they put it down to a public vote this year. Alex George and Samara Mighty The producers don't want to see Alex go home because they want to show that Love Island isn't just about looks. And that personality and even people who really aren't typically suited to be on the show can still go the full distance. They knew the public would feel the same, so I think this was a way of the producers subtly guiding the show in the direction they wanted by using what they already knew about who the public was rooting for. And that is why Haley Hughes and Charlie Frederick got the boot. Goodbye Haley and Charlie. The public vote and surprisingly saw Haley and Charlie packing their bags and going home. I can't lie. I felt for Charlie he was already becoming a good addition to the villa, and was coming out of his shell in a good way. It's just a shame he got coupled with Haley, as she undoubted dragged him down during this dumping. Haley on the other hand I was pleased to see leave. She carried around this massive sense of self-importance in the villa, and it irritated me how she thought she was too good to get to know any of the boys and how rude she was to any of the lads who called her up on it. I can't imagine dating someone like that, it must have been hell for Charlie even for the few days he was with her. You could tell the thought of her going home never even crossed her mind, and she genuinely thought the show would somehow find a way to make her stay. A real self-absorbed narcissist in my opinion. So, at the end of week two there was fittingly another couple of bombshells making their way in, Zara McDermott and Ellie Brown. There's so much more to come. I think the girls are starting to finally feel the same pressure that the guys felt when Charlie and Josh Denzel walked in. It's a real sense of realization that nobody is safe, and you're not just on a holiday when bombshells walk in. It's never easy and it really makes some couples feel the strain. As soon as they came in, straight away Adam Collard and his newly relieved blue balls were straight in there making it clear that they are by no means in committed relationships and somewhat up for grabs. Can't wait to see how this all pans out. Until next week, Johnny X and Boy, has the drama kicked off already? you <laughs>